Hey guys, today's tutorial, basically what we're going to do, we're going to get this model, we're going to turn it into a mannequin. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is going to duplicate the back layer, back around, zoom in. Now, one of the first things I've got here is a piece of uh, cracked up pot, which is really good, the tops for these. These are really good for doing things that we're doing. Next image is just a stand, which we're going to be using later on. Now, first thing we're going to do, we're going to copy this piece. I've got a marker tag to remove in there. Copy, go back to the main plan, and paste. Now, we're getting it very close to her skin color anyway. So the first thing we're going to do here, we're going to bring it down to size, rotate it to the right angle. Now, we're talking about shading here. As you can see with the feet, you've got the shading going in that direction. See there, it's going in that direction. So to make it more realistic, we're going to have to put the shade going in that direction. So what we're going to do, we're going to put the, we've got the shade here coming down. And yeah, it's actually going that way. So that means the light source is going to show on this side. It's actually on this side, but it's going to show on that side, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm just going to shift, hold down the shift key. And then I'm going to bring it in like this, and bring that down, just to get it in there, so it looks a bit more realistic. Go further down, go down to about there. Let me zoom in. Make sure we get a nice clean cut here. So basically, what I'm doing, I'm trying to get those edges there to there to match with the edge of her skin. I'm just going to nudge it across with the arrow keys. Okay, that should do us. That looks good. I'm going to get the razor tool. Nice small size, four pixels. I'm just going to raise this part of the actual pot, which sounds pretty neat. That back part we can leave there because it looks more realistic though it's rusty because it's been torn apart type of thing okay we go to image adjustments and curves and usually in the, the second box here and the second one up these are the ones right in the bottom here these are the ones you usually muck around with see that straight away it's come up with that and right at the top here just come down a little bit uh, we've got that realistic look to that that's really good we're going to go to the background image and the first one off background. Now I'm going to start from the outside here, coming out semicircle, going up like that, coming down and across here. Now I'm going to cut that out. The best way to do it just to get the cone stamp tool. Do a clean stamp of the area. It's very close to it. A nice size brush. Harden this down, spacing down. Nice size brush, and just start clicking in that area. Uh, got to be careful taking samples of areas which are very close to this 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 leg. Um, basically, because what's going to happen? Um, going to show up well lit areas. I take the opacity, take the size down a bit, go like that. Now, see here, with the outline, just going to use the content aware, just to fix it up. Now that's looking more or less like what we're after. And we can flatten the layer now. We're going to put a, a bit of a shadow in there. Um, but the first thing we're going to be doing, uh, before we put the shadow in there, we're going to be putting that stand. We're going to be put, putting a portion of that stand in there as well. And um, it's one of the things that we're going to put in there later on. First thing is, we're going to do another leg. Well, basically we're going to do the same thing what we did before, guys. Yep, looks 
the don't want it exactly the same as that one. We want it to be a little bit more different. So it kind of stands out like that. Now with a leg, as the leg muscles are like that. Uh, I'm just going around with different angles, different directions there. Put the brush back up. Show you a sample of this area, nice and close. Should do. Well, that area is selected. I'm just going to use the content away. Get around like that. Making sure not to content away over the skin, because when we do that, if we do something like this, look what happened in blurs. So it's the one thing that we don't want to do. Now we're just going to go back to this. We're going to make it like that. So we got image adjustments and curves. Those two, and then bring that one down again. There we go. And like I said before, see how there that just doesn't blend in. So what we're going to do is going to use the eraser tool, nice and small, and then just erase that little area there. We want to keep that lip along there nice and bright because it shows the light source coming on top. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. We're happy with that. So just going to flatten the layer. Actually, it might just change because see how those two are exactly the same, and that, and that. So what I'll do, get the razor tool. I might just go down, put the zigzag like that in there. Just get something a little bit different. And this part here, I'll just use. Level eight on the a smudge tool. Let's bring that up. So it doesn't look exactly the same. That's the whole idea. Okay, that's pretty good. That's what we're after. That's awesome. Layer flatten and usually just save the image. Save the image is the best way because otherwise you have a lot of issues with mistakes. Stand. I'm just going to get it. That, like that, copy that, and straight into here, and paste it. So it's going to look like get the eraser, magic eraser tool, use that bang, you know, straight away. Gets rid of all the background without the going to masking it and stuff like that. I'm just going to have it something like that. Now, because she's a little bit blurred, I want to get that little bit blurred as well. That's fine. I'm just going to duplicate that image. Duplicate. Move tool and move it across and line that one up as well. Make it a little bit more different so it looks more realistic. So we'll start with this one. Let's zoom in. Put the opacity down. And just get the lasso tool. Just goes cold. More or less like colouring the, the coloured area of the skin is go along those lines there. Okay, and now do the same to the next one, turn the opacity down. Right on here like this, get rid of that. And there. Don't want to go too far back, I want to go right to the edge on that one. So we're going to show that skin top showing through. And this one put the opacity back up as well. Okay, as you can see here, it's a little bit off. That's it, that's what we want. Make it more realistic. Ooh, too far. Okay, now she's looking like a monitor. This is good. Now we're going to add some shading. Okay. Flatten the layer. Now, new layer. Uh, we're going to get the Brush tool, not too big, about a nine, that's fine, considering the size of this image is quite a big size image. Um, and I just want to go across the top of it like that. It doesn't matter if you go over because we're going to go back into that later on. And come down like this, and this is a bit more, we're talking a bit more like illustration work here than just basic Photoshop. 
equipment. Okay, let's kind of duplicate kind of an idea of what that looks like. What it would look like if it was a shader. And it's going down on an angle. I'm just going to use the eraser tool here and raise that bar. And just do that again. Okay. And then we'll put it around like that. That's better. Yeah, it doesn't have to be exact, but something that's very similar to those lines. Yeah. So what we're going to do now, we're going to put the opacity down for the shadows and we go around with the eraser tool, erase the areas that we don't want in the shadow. That looks good. And that's looking good. Now if we zoom out, see what I'm talking about from shadows. Now next thing we're going to do, we're going to blow that. Gaussian blur, which is, I've got it set. I'll go to blur, Gaussian blur again, uh, 2.2, make it down to something like that. The ones are usually good for something like this. There we go. Passages down, so that's looking good. You get the shadow, you get the expand everywhere. Um, I'm just going to use the eraser tool again and just sharpen off the edges here. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's wonderful. Layer, flatten, that's what you want. That's looking good. Now it's looking like, she's looking like a bit more than that. Right, but you can put screws and stuff like that inside here and all that, but that's a little bit something for us later on down the track. Now we're gonna copy her leg area, copy and paste it. Now I'm just going to use the eraser, the magic eraser tool. Bang, 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 bang. And just get rid of all the areas that are not. That's good. Okay. The hand we can leave in there because that's going to be something. What we're going to do now, we're just going to do the plastic um, addition to it. So the image looks like it's made out of plastic. I think a mannequin is made out of plastic, so that's what we're going to be going for here. So here we go. Put it on there. Pop it there. And of course, you can always just hold in the R key and rotate the image around. Yeah, so if you want to go around a thing like this and get a better angle when you're doing stuff with the mouse or the, the pen. I find a lot of easier this way because you can get a good straight image, straight line. No, no. So rotate cool tool again. Right. Now I'm gonna go up to filter, filter gallery. And we want plastic wrap. Now I've already got it already set for six. You can go up for eight, go up for whatever you like. Detail. Yeah, we'll put a bit of detail in there. Smoothness, yeah. We want smoothness. We don't want like that. We don't want this kind of that. We want really smooth. That looks cool. I'll have them click on the background. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to really eliminate all this area, which we shouldn't, doesn't, we don't want that in there with the plastic. So get rid of that and get rid of all the inside as well. Because the inside, we're not going to have it looking plasticky like the rest of it on the outside. That we can flatten the layer if we want now. That's fine. However, this is a problem here. Because we've got the dress on top, 
Okay, there we go. Don't have to get rid of that. That's all. That's easy. All right, now we're just going to flatten that. Flatten, save. Now we're going to do the same with the top part. So it's going to move around the face, copy, paste, get rid of the background. Now, magical eraser tool, and we're going to go into dress, and just get rid of that. Don't go into those details and do that, we've got a lot of work. Uh, go back to the eraser tool, and just erase what we don't want. Here. Back here. Photographer here, there. Now, this part here, especially if you're doing something like this, I can actually get rid of that right now if I want. You don't have to because you can always go back and do it later on. But what I was going to say, let's do it. Let's just get rid of it anyway. I'm just going to change the shape of the brush so it's thin to light. And that way we can get a nice bit more of a clean effect of what we're after. Now we go up to filter, filter gallery, and looks a bit disturbing. Down a bit. Yeah. A bit more detail, probably. Yeah. Because I'm back on. Now, I might just bring that opacity down a bit because it's not really, it's covering up too much of it and it's not looking real. Can I put the brush back to normal? Soft. Touch in these areas or whatever here is. And where the shadow goes. There's the eyes. Going to do the same thing. And that was a mannequin, the eyes, more or less, uh, part of the plastic process. But just for this tutorial, I think we can do it this way. Hold up button. Now with the hand, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do a trick. I'm going to go around this hand. Oops, start again. Around this hand, like this. Quickly go around this hand, like that. Copy, paste. Go back down. Magic eraser tool. Just a bit more all the, the dress. Oops. And then I'd like to use the plastic tool over here. Make this okay. Okay. There. And there. Put it down here. And I'm not going too much into too much detail here because Forward to tutorial processes, obviously. Filter, filter gallery, and just do that again, like normal. Done. Uh, now, the other thing is, uh, if you notice as well, the color. I'm just going to put the color back up to reddish, reddish yellow. That matches the rest of the body. Layer. Button. So if it takes a second, click be good. Oh guys, now there's lots of other different things we can do with this image, but for now, um, I'm pretty sure and very confident we're going to get where we're right where we want it. Here's the dodge tool here, nice and small. 
and just accentuate by running along the lift areas. Going back towards both the boys, just going across them. It's just really bringing them out. That's all it's doing. Nothing much. Look, you can just do it right up in here. Ignore that, so that's showing up a bit more. Do the same thing here. Watch your guys. Here's today's tutorial on how to make a mannequin mannequin. Thanks for watching. Cheers.